so if you look into that, Moses actually married her own aunt. So considering the, the biblical account we have that Moses' uh, father married his, uh, his uh, own aunt, and Moses was the child of such union, how can Moses be acceptable in the community of the Lord? But uh, the explanation we get from uh, from Christian that the law was given to Moses and that relationship was before before the law. But here is the, my question to to the Christian friends out there, because a lot of time in the debate I hear uh, some Christian apologists. Uh, claiming that Muhammad changed the Quran uh, after he married uh, Zainab, priest be upon him, and changed the law of mar marriage in the Quran, which is actually not true because nothing was changed, it, it was explained in detail. But here is my question to all, all the Christians, how uh, didn't the own God change the law? I mean, he chose Moses. Moses was not a random prophet. He was a chosen prophet from the child. From the child. God saved him. We have the whole story of the Moses. So, uh, here is a child which uh, God chosen and gave a law. And in that law, it described how much God hid uh, incest relationship that even the 10th generation will go to hell but uh, I'm sorry it will, would not be acceptable in the community of the Lord but uh, in terms of Moses uh, it doesn't matter for him to choose a prophet who is uh, who is actually a child of Saturnia so these are the few examples that I gave them. There are some uh, extreme examples like uh, Lot, who is actually, uh, who had a relationship with the, her two daughters. He had actually accepted his own two daughters. In, uh, uh, Genesis uh, chapter 19 explained that. And uh, um, the children of those, uh, the children of the, such relationship was actually praised and they became the leader of a nation. So here is God uh, choosing such child as a leader of a nation and here is a commandment from God from the, from the God with saying that uh, the tenth generation of the such uh, relationship uh, child or wouldn't be acceptable in the community of the Lord, even though I don't understand how can the 10th generation be responsible for it. So here is a God who is uh, commanding in the law that any child of such union uh, will not be acceptable in the assembly of the God until the 10th generation, even though I can't understand why the 10th generation will be responsible for the actions of their fathers and forefathers. But uh, in the case of Moses, he chose uh, a prophet who was the child of such union. And uh, if we see some later examples, uh, uh, David's one wife, Abigail, uh, his father is also identified as uh, J.C., who is also the father of David, but this story is not uh, being verified because uh, in other accounts her father is being identified as, uh, as a different person, um, so that could be uh, two, uh, two women with the same name. But what I was wondering about is um, since the God gave the commandment that even the tenth generation wouldn't be acceptable in the assembly, and then uh, if we look into uh, Matthew and Luke, the first chapter uh, explains Jesus' own lineage with uh, Moses and David, and uh, so how can that be possible during the God of Old Testament? 
uh, change his mind. Well, there's so some extreme examples I give, and uh, I hope uh, I made my point clear. And uh, this is not a personal attack to any anyone. This is just a response to some of the Christians who object and criticize. So my point of view is to is that first look into your own scripture, then uh, criticize somebody else. Well, um, and uh, even if you look into the Prophet Muhammad example. Uh, we know no law was broken and Prophet Muhammad was not in any way related to uh, that woman uh, whom the law prohibits to marry and uh, so um, I hope I have made my point there. Thank you very much for listening and watching to my video uh, and peace and